from BHX 411. Got a 98 Acura. Uh, we got a check engine light on. And the code is, I'll show it to you right here. 401 EGR flow insufficient. I will show you what is the problem with these. It's a common problem on a V6 Honda and Acuras. Um, it's not the EGR valve, it's the intake manifold. It gets clogged up over there. So I'll remove the intake manifold and I will show you where exactly uh, it clogs up. The intake off right there on the floor. I'll show you what you need to do. Over here on the right side, as you can see, this thing right here, it's all clogged up. What you do is just get like brake fluid and air and clean that up over there. Also blow everything out of the EGR. So that's the thing that got clogged up. Also, on the intake manifold, this thing right here is also clogged up. We'll clean it up and I'll show you how it's supposed to be. Alright, we remove the intake. That's where it is. I'll show you over here. As you can see on the right side over here, this thing is pretty clogged up, as you can see. That's where all this stuff, and it's, it has to be all cleaned up. So, all that must be cleaned up. Also, over here, same thing on the intake manifold. All this stuff, it's pretty heavy kind of have to kind of clean it and out of there look all this junk comes out it's not in it's not something you're just gonna blow you're gonna have to get something sharp brake cleaner and blow it all and clean it all out so that's the common problem with the EGR insufficient flow as you can see huge huge chunks are coming out some brake cleaner I'll show you how you can clean it First, what I did is kind of pried it all out of there. You can spray brake cleaner in here. You have to remove your, what's it called? The EGR valve, so it'll be easier to clean. I'll put brake cleaner in there, so you can see the other hole. I'm putting brake fluid in here. Cleaner. As you can see, it's coming out of the other side. That's how you clean this side of it. All right, the intake side over here, how you can clean it. Be careful with the brake cleaner. It gets into your eyes, it kind of hurts. As you can see, I'm putting brake cleaner on it. it doesn't even go through, so you kind of a light so you guys can see. Have to kind of clean it out. All this gooey stuff have to come out. Make sure you don't get it in the in intake the other side of it. You kind of clean it out, pry it all the way over there, making sure it's nice and clean all around. Once you clean that out, spray more fluid. And make sure it goes through all the way through. And might as well clean all the intake out, all these and. From this side over here, also clean that out. Clean it out, blow it out with the air compressor. Get it all cleaned out. I'll show you once I clean it out, I'll show you how it's supposed to be. As you can see, now it's better, but I'll clean all of that out so it goes all the way through and show you how it's supposed to be. All right, I'll show you how we clean it up. As you can see, nice and clean, perfectly fine. This is the EGR port, nice and clean, perfectly fine. All you need is a brake cleaner, air hose, and of course something like a little brush or anything that would get a pry a little bit out of there. And I'll show you the intake. We also clean the intake. As you can see, nice and clean all around. All you, we also clean this one, might as well all clean it all out. Air, brake cleaner, and a brush of, or something in that field. That's how you clean the EGR ports on the Honda Acura V6. All right, now that we got uh, the EGR passages cleaned up, 
what you do is just clear the codes and test drive the car that's how you clean fix your EJAR problem P0401 EJAR insufficient flow problem in a Honda Acura